UK's inflation rate dropped unexpectedly in June, while Germany's economic sentiment also fell, but the outlook remains robust. Meanwhile, UK house price growth continues to slow. This is Daily Fetcher with me, Katie Pilgrim. Let's have a look at the market movements this Tuesday afternoon. As you can see, we're firmly in the red across the European bourses. June UK inflation came in lower than expected for the UK at 2.6%. That's down from 2.9% in May. This is being put down to lower petrol and diesel prices. That's according to the Office for National Statistics. But with wage inflation at 2% excluding bonuses, inflation is still putting pressure on household spending. Well, the lower rate of inflation means that the Bank of England is now less likely to raise interest rates. Sterling fell in response, losing nearly 1% against the US dollar. Let's move on and talk about Germany because the growth outlook for the country, it does remain positive. That's despite a fall in investor morale for the second consecutive month in July. That's according to the ZEW Institute. Now, this drop is being put down to the stronger euro. Now, dollar weakness has been driving the euro dollar higher with resistance at 1.1536. That was being tested this morning. But the general outlook, as I say, for the German economy itself, despite this drop in the ZEW report, it does remain strong. And a lot of that is to do with private investments, household spending, and an improvement in exports too. Well, the figure, it dropped to 17.5, and that's from 18.6. Let's talk about Royal Mail because it reported a 1% rise in revenue in the three months to the 25th of June. That's thanks to its Europe-wide parcels, its delivery service, which is the GLS. Now, as a consequence, it is actually the biggest riser in the FTSE 100 today. You can see it's now up 2.7%. The shares are currently, as I say, 2.7% higher. Meanwhile, another um, company that's doing the rounds today is British Land. It's also gained after the property developer announced a £300 million share buyback programme. The shares hit a one-month high. And something I want to talk about just now, because we talk about this a lot here in Britain, because a lot of people, especially young people, are struggling to get on the property ladder. Yes, I'm talking about house prices. Now, growth in UK house prices, it has continued to slow. But despite the slowdown, the cost of the average home still increased by 4.7%. Now, this represents a drop in May from 5.3%. That was the rise that was posted in April. Now, the average price of a house in England is 238,000. In Wales, it's 150,000. Scotland is 143, while the average price in Northern Ireland is 124. OK, let's talk about Wednesday and some of the economic data releases that could move the markets potentially. We've got the Eurozone construction output. That's for May. We've got the EIA crude oil inventories. They're to be expected. And really, it's the corporates. They take centre stage because we've got the mining sector coming out into focus with quarterly production results from BHP Billiton and Yeras. And uh, more US financials with Morgan Stanley and American Express, as well as US Bancorp and Alcoa. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.